Good morning, loves. Today is April 1st, 2019, and it today marks the sixth month that I've been full-time blogging, um, full-time freelancing, and I just, I'm very happy. Like, I could not believe, I cannot believe it that it's been six months since I, like, quit my job slash got fired slash the universe made it so I had to follow my destiny um and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit I well this isn't a good spot the light there is like crazy we'll do it here Part of it is age because you know I'm getting older I'm more secure in myself I I know what I want and I know how to get it and I go for it and I, I don't have a lot of doubts and I, I do feel like I have a certain kind of not na naivety about um, just what I can accomplish and I think that that is key in like following your dreams once you stop putting limits on what you can do uh, negative self-talk is probably <laughs> the biggest deterrent to following your dreams along with fear um, I was I was in a good place to actually go full-time blogging or to go freelance because I had you know a good amount of savings um, and I just said to myself you know what this job it's not it's not my purpose like i'm i was so good at it i still am good at it i'm always gonna have my degree um i can parlay that into lots of different things from healthcare writing to to classes to consulting to actually physically going back to um being a physical therapist um but that was not my calling it wasn't and i knew that and like it just kind of weighed on me every day that I was going there and doing that and then coming home and using the time I had at home to pursue blogging and influencing. What is going on out there? Anywho, um, so luckily when that happened, I had savings. So I told myself, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a go. For three months, I'm gonna see how it goes. And you know, if it doesn't work out, I still have my degree. I can still go back to, to being a physical therapist. And here I am at six months. I'm sorry, I think I, I'm actually maybe gonna cry a little bit. I actually did cry yesterday. Um, because it's like, wow, this thing that I love so much that I just thought, you know, it's just a, uh, it's just a passion project. It's just a hobby. It's just something I do for fun. Oh, I'm just a blogger. Even saying just is like negative self-talk. Um, I didn't know that it would just open up so many doors. Like, I, I swear, as soon as that door to, to working that job closed, opportunities just flowed to me and like, I can't even explain it. The universe, God, a higher power, whatever you believe in, will always provide. And like, it's so funny because, I mean, being a, a full-time blogger is, it's very hard. It's, <laughs> being an entrepreneur is hard. Like, there you work all the time. There's no set nine to five schedule where you clock out. You don't think about things anymore. Like literally from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, I'm working, I'm hustling, trying to get brand campaigns or just trying to get out content um, 
to my readers, to my viewers that I think um, matters, that are important to me, putting out my first ever print copy of Steel Magazine, which was a feat in itself. Like, look at it, guys. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Um, it took five whole years, but and I, I, I'm all I've almost broken even. Like, I can't even. I'm gonna do a whole blog post about this and a whole video about how much time and money it took to make this. Um, after the first run, I finally broke even. Um, so now I'm actually starting to make uh, a little bit of money from selling the issues, but it is a feat, guys. That's a whole another story, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that too. But the universe will always provide, like, there's been times when I've been like, um, my rent's gonna be late this month because XYZ brands haven't paid me on time. And that was the case for this month. And I'm just gonna keep it real. That was the case. I try not to like dip into my savings, um, especially if I know that money's coming because I just need that security. I mean, this was one of those months when I was gonna be like, oh, if my check doesn't come in time, I'm gonna have to like use my savings and that's not something that I wanna do. And it just was stressing me out because first of all, I hate owing people money. Like, I hate it. I don't ever borrow money from people if I don't have to because it's just, it's just not me. And also it makes me very, very uncomfortable to not be able to like uh provide for myself or if i have a situation like that like yeah i might borrow some money from my mom but i'm definitely give it back i'm definitely giving it back i just i just cannot ask anyone for money um maybe a surprise thing i don't know but i should probably work on that yeah i'm looking for a therapist anywho i came my rent was gonna be a couple of days late because I knew a brand was gonna pay me on a certain day. It was a couple of days after the first, which is today. And yesterday, when I got home, I looked in the mailbox, and yesterday was Sunday. I didn't know the mail came on Sunday, and I vaguely remember checking the mailbox on Saturday, but maybe it was before the mailman came. And I had like three checks in there from brands who paid me early. Like, I'm telling you guys, I I looked in my mail at, at the that mail and i was like oh my god and i was stressing about having to pay late even though you know i had the money in my savings i was stressing about it because i don't like owing people anything i don't like owing people money and i cried when i saw those checks i was like oh my god like i'm telling you the universe god a higher power will always provide like always i remember when i was in college i was going to nyu i was getting my doctorate in physical therapy i was so broke guys i oh my god like my aunt and i wrote about this in a blog post called start it from the bottom i'll put a link to it below but my aunt used to send me 20 dollars every two weeks direct deposit from her to account to my account when she would get paid and i swear to you that $20 sometimes was the only money I had to my name. And I would be so happy that I could like eat like a real meal. That would be like a treat to myself to go to Starbucks and get a hot chocolate. And I appreciate that so so much she doesn't know what well, she knows now because I wrote about it and I told her about it and I thanked her so many times but she really helped me get through college here you know I was living in New York I was on my own for the first time um I didn't know anybody here and if it was not for that $20 every couple of weeks like I would not I would not be here if it was not for that $20 and so the universe knows man it does so it's scary it's really scary to just like give up the security of knowing you're gonna have money to give up that routine of a nine to five 
to like pursue something that you really love nine times out of ten if you're passionate about it you're gonna make money from it it i don't know how um i don't know how quick the money will come but if you're passionate about it the money will come um of course you need to have you know things set up so that if you are in a nine to five and you want to transition you could do that without struggling um i think the main thing you have to take into account um, of course, are your finances, having your finances in order, having a good amount of savings, having a plan, but also training your mind. Because I feel like, whose car alarm is going off? It's kind of annoying. Because I feel like the biggest adjustment for me was the routine. Like, I literally, I, I said this so many times, but I lost, like, between 10 and 15 pounds the first two months of being freelance because I was just so stressed and anxiety-ridden about money. Um, but the thing I learned about money is money will come. Like, it, it will. It'll just come out of thin air. It will drop into your inbox out of nowhere. Like, it just, it just comes. I don't know how it does it, but it just does. <laughs> um... And I mean, it's pretty amazing. It really is. <laughs> so, oh my God, I got emotional. I cried on camera. And I'm not a very super emotional person in front of people. Um, that's one thing I think I need to work on. Anywho, six months here, you guys, and all is well. Today, April 1st, I'm actually going to get my very first facial, I know. I don't know what I've been doing the last 34 years. Like, I've never gotten a facial. <laughs> but today, I'm going to exhale. They invited me down for an event they're having just to get um, a lifting facial. So, I'm with it. I'm going to take you guys with me. This week is going to be a super busy week for me. I have so many events to go to. Go to. So many brands are doing previews. Um this month for their i mean this week for their collection so tomorrow i'm going to like four or five press press previews um wednesday i have another press preview um thursday i have the the beauty con um awards which is really really dope uh shop bop is sending me over some things so that i have them uh, the week after, I have so many things. I have some things to do with Kiehl's. I may be going to the World Conference with uh, Oprah, who's speaking. I mean, I may be in a room with Oprah, like, I can't believe it. And Anna Wintour, like, it's going to be a movie. Really? Okay. I feel like sometimes uh, rappers feel like what they need to do is ride around Harlem playing their own mixtape. I mean, maybe that's self-promotion, I don't know, but it's annoying when it's eight o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Some of us are working from home. Anywho, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna take you guys with me um, through this next week. Jumping right back into getting these daily vlogs going, all right? Stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun time. All right guys, after a busy morning of doing my Insta stories, which took me exactly one hour, I didn't think it would take so long. I guess I had a lot to promote today. Um, I'm heading down to Exhale Spa to get my first ever facial. I don't know why I have glasses on in the house. To get my first ever facial, that's why my face is pretty bare except for a little eye makeup and some lipstick. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And then I might go do some shopping. But probably not because I need to save. Lego.
right guys so i'm here at x hill spa i'm in my special room i'm gonna get my first facial it's a lift facial um they're gonna use some modalities on my face which is cool i am a physical therapist I still am. So I know what modalities are. They can be micro currents, it can be ultrasound, it can be gallivantic um, current. So I'm really excited because my esthetician has amazing skin. So here's the room. Here we go. I'm gonna put on this little robe. They have some products over here. How cool. Neat. Look at these little doodads. All right, guys, I'm ready for my first facial lather. congestion here like on my jawline where I normally have like cystic acne or breakouts um, and also even with the irritation around my nasal folds because I have um, dermatitis it also happens around my eyebrows and my hairline but right now it's just around my nose she gave me some tips on things to use and I feel very knowledgeable like I could just go home and do everything she told me to do so make sure you check out Autumn at it at Exhale Spa. I'll put the information down below, but like, look at my face, guys. I'm a zygote. All right, guys, so just leaving Exhale Spa, and I had the best uh, lift facial. I highly recommend it. Um, I had Autumn, she was amazing. And they also gave me a little gift bag. So I'll show you guys what's in there once I get home. I think I might go to Bergdorf's. I know, I said I wasn't gonna shop. And maybe to Zara, H&M, <laughs> just to look. And then I need to head home because I'm waiting on a few packages. But how glorious is this beautiful day here in Central Park South. Oh, so good. Eventually, I'm gonna go back and get just like an actual facial where it's not like um, a lift facial so that they can do all the good things that they do when they take out their impurities in your skin. But yeah, super happy with my uh, facial and just my experience at Exhale Spa. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Just got back in from getting my facial and doing like a little bit of window shopping. I didn't actually buy anything but I'm very happy with the results like I feel like my skin looks super smooth of course I still have hyperpigmentation but a far better cry than it was when I left here this morning I don't think I showed you guys my outfit this morning so I'm wearing my favorite Chanel slingbacks my favorite mom jeans from and other stories 
I love them because they're a little cropped. They also like have room for a butt. Like it's a smaller waist and a bigger hip ratio. So they fit really well. And then this is just my favorite oversized shirt from Misguided. Wearing my favorite head wrap because my hair is a mess under here guys. Like I actually need to do a little wash day. And then I just got this necklace in from Adornia and it says Boss. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the S's there, but it says Boss, B-O-S-S. -S. And they have a ton of different necklaces. So they sent this to me and I just did an unboxing of it this morning on my Insta stories. So yeah, uh, while I was at Exhale Spa, they gave me this cool little gift bag. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys what's in there. In the meantime, I'm taking off these shoes. And if you have any questions about my outfit, um, I'll put links to everything below. Everyone seems to love this top. It's one of my favorites and from Misguided, it was a steal. Okay, and if you're looking for a really good pair of mom jeans, these from And Other Stories are the business. All right, so let me go through. Just put these in their place. All right. So let me go through and show you guys what's in my gift bag. Oh, Exhale Spa. Make sure to check them out. I'll put a link to them below. What is in here? So I was hungry. <laughs> And this uh, Justin's butter peanut butter cups was in here, so I ate it on the train because I was starving. All I ate today was like a cup of coffee and a quick bowl of like um, Honey Nut Cheerios, but this was delicious. What else is in here? So we have a little IS Clinical Active Serum. This is actually what they used on my face today also an exhale spa soothing sleep sticker Ooh, how cool i'm gonna maybe use this tonight what else is in here some facial cleansing wipes which is perfect because i just ran out i usually use the simple wipes so these are good they're natural natural formula and Minimum 70% organic. Not bad. So this really nice um, bag. I love a good tote, guys. Revive, restore, and repeat. Exhale Spa. Thank you, Exhale Spa, for all of these goodies. And also for my really amazing facelift today. Wow, my skin feels like so amazing. Y'all, it was really really good definitely check them out i'll put a link to them below um i think that's gonna be it for today in blog life um in blogger life for today because jeez because tomorrow i have a lot going on i'm having i'm going to a ton of showroom visits and it'll be a new day so yeah stay tuned for more blog life until then, enjoy this view. Oh, I played myself. Don't forget to like. All the likes matter, guys. And subscribe. I'm going to definitely do more of these, like, life vlogs videos for you guys. Um, and maybe try to post them either on Sunday or on Wednesday. Going to up the ante. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Yeah, trying to give a number up. Bye, guys.